Thank you very much, fellow Kenyans. I'm Babu Owino, Member of Parliament, Mbakasi East constituency. I'm here to talk about the decision made by the Environment and Land Court yesterday concerning the purported Kirima's land, 1,000 acres land. And I want to state that there are ways of acquiring land. And one of them is through what we call adverse possession. And in adverse possession, the law operationalizing adverse possession is Limitation of Actions Act 2012, Section 37, read wholly with Section 38. It is now judicially settled that adverse possession is a way a person can lawfully acquire ownership of land. The following factors are required to be fulfilled and shall be read conjunctively. Number one, one should be in occupation of that land at the time of seeking adverse possession. And in the present case, these people are in occupation of the parcel of land. Number two, the person must have been occupying that parcel of land for a period of at least 12 years, meaning at least means 12 years or more. In the present case, these people who are my people have been in occupation of this land for a period of over 12 years. If we take into account the time that Kirima died, which was on 10th of December 2010, to date, if you only take from that time to date, we have 12 years, 10 months. So these people are overqualified to occupy that parcel of land and be the rightful owners legally through adverse possession. Number three, entry into this land should not have been consented by the owner of the land. Initially, the entry should not have been consented. And in the present case, at the time of the death of the owner of the land, that is uh, Kirima, no consent had been drawn. Number four, the land in question should not be a public land. And, the, and in the present case, the land in question is a private land alleged to belong to Mr. Kirima. Number five, the occupation should be open and notorious. I need not dissect that. Number six, there has to be knowledge of occupation. In the present case, our people, my people, have and continue to be in occupation with the knowledge of the owner. Therefore, I want to say that the judgment that was arrived at yesterday by the judge, the judge had made a mistake in the decision that he made that this said parcel of land does not belong to the people of Embakasi East constituency. I want to say that currently we are going to pursue an appeal. We are going to appeal this decision. And because this matter is a matter of public interest, this matter must reach the Supreme Court and this parcel of land must be given to my people through adverse possession, taking into account the requirements that I've just read. Number two, we will also seek for negotiations to ensure that Kirima's family agrees to negotiate with the great people of Mbakasi East constituency. Should they refuse, then through adverse possession, this 1,000 acres parcel of land clearly belongs to the people of Mbakasi East constituency. Next, the president 
has been so active with the issue of the affordable housing that he wants every Kenyan citizen to have a house. And that he's moved and practically started construction of the said houses. Why then should we encourage as a government demolition of houses as was recently experienced in Mavoko? Should this apply in Embakasi East constituency? I can assure you that should my people lose their houses because they shall have lost everything, we are going to fight back. We are going to fight back and I call upon my people in Embakasi's constituency not to sit and watch as their property is being demolished, as their property is being destroyed. Because through adverse possession, they are the rightful owners of the said parcels of land. And I want to advise this government that in the spirit of togetherness, live and let live. Eat and let eat. Let my people be. We will fight for the interest of my people. As a member of parliament, that is my inherent and inalienable duty to defend not only spiritedly, but also religiously, the interest of the great people of Embakasi's constituency. I once again call upon Kirima's family, because Mr. Kirima had died many, has already died. He died many years ago. And right now, find it easy in your heart to come on the table and talk with my people, to negotiate, because they are willing to negotiate with the family. Do not be arrogant about it. He who comes to equity must come with clean hands, come with open hearts, and come ready for what my people will offer. Should you refuse, through adverse possession again, this property is ours. Yeah. You, you want them to come to negotiate with you, but you already, you already set up terms. It is upon them to accept or you will fight back. Which way will you fight back? The law is clear. The law of war states that <laughs> as you negotiate, you advance. Then the next question. And if the Grimas family will not accept uh, compensation from the residents of Embakas as a AMP, what would you do if they demand for their land, parcel of land? What I will do is better imagined than experienced. Next question. 